Welcome to Picture Healer channel. We are going to look at the monthly feng shui for May 2024 today. And we will start with the dates. We follow the 24 solar turns or the 24 jie qi for the feng shui monks. So this month we start from May 5th, the li xia or the start of summer until June 5th, mang zhong or the planting grains. For the 24 solar turns or the 24 jie qi, they are approximately the same dates every year, maybe one or two days difference. The traditional Chinese calendar based on the 24 solar turns a lot. And if you want to learn Chinese fortune telling, it's also related to 24 solar turns a lot. So let's look at the special auspicious dates in May. We also have a Qilin date and a Phoenix day this month. The Qilin day, the May 7th, is extra lucky for males. And the Phoenix day, May 19th, is extra lucky for females. And both dates are very lucky for your festive events, such as wedding or big parties. And another day is the Tian She Ri, the Heaven Forgiving Day or the Heaven Pardon Day. In this day, we can safely move around the feng shui items or religious items without worrying of making mistakes. And you can use this day to arrange your space or clean and organize your house. Now we will look at the monthly flying star chart for May. The center star is number two, and the number two is an illness star. So there is a stronger tendency for health issues this month. And the number five, the five yellow star is in the northeast. This one can be related to health issues or any misfortune, accident, or obstacles. Star seven and three are related to conflicting energy or gossip, fighting, legal issues. So this month is in the northwest and the north. And the most auspicious star is number nine because we are in period nine. And this month it's in the east direction. And another auspicious and a tiny star is number one in the southeast this month. When we put the monthly chart together with the yearly chart and the period nine chart, we will look at the three numbers in each section. So the whole energy changes a little bit. And here is the summary chart. You can see the best direction is still southwest because we have three positive stars. And the second best is the east because we have a monthly star number nine. That's the tiny star in period nine. And the number one is the second tiny star in period nine. So we have one and nine as monthly star and a yearly star. So east is very lucky this month. And we have the conflicting energy in the south and the center. One is a sword fight combination, and the center is a bull fight combination. So both are related to fighting, conflict, and uh, legal trouble. Now we'll look at the nine sectors, starting from the center. And in the center, we have number two as a monthly star. And the first combination, three and two, that's the bull fight combination. So that's about quarrels, fighting, injury, and legal issues. Another combination is two and nine. That's the fire generating earth in the five element relationships. And this can mean wealth, romance luck, intelligence, and fame. So basically this is a lucky combination. And another one is the yearly star and the period nine star. It's a nine three combination. It's related to intelligence and fame. So here we have strong conflicting energy and also the illness star. 
and we can add metal element to reduce uh, star number two and uh, control star number three at the same time. Any type of metal element can work, including metal bells, metal wind chime, metal coins, metal clock, and you can add health enhancers such as a hulu gourd or the turtle. And try to avoid construction here this month. The second direction is west. We have the number four star as a monthly star. And the five four combination, that's the wood star number four controlling the earth star number five. And this can indicate obstacles, illness, and money loss. So it's not an auspicious combination. The second combination is four and two. It's also the wood controlling the earth. And this can indicate mother-daughter conflict or other relationship issues. And the third combination, five and two, that will be the same for the whole year of 2024. It's related to obstacles and the illness. And the feng shui cure is metal here because metal reduces the earth stars, number five and number two. So the same as the center, we can add the metal bell, wind chime, metal clock, metal coins, and so on. And we can also add health enhancers, such as the hulu gourd or the turtle. And we can add salt water cure or obsidian crystal to absorb negative energy. Or add jade or pisho for protection. And avoid construction in the West, basically for the whole year of 2024 because of the star two and five combination. The third direction is Northwest. We have star number three. And the three, four combination is always about unstable energy and the constant unexpected changes. And this can cause relationship issues if you are not careful. And the second combination three and one that's the water star number one generating wood star number three. This combination can mean intelligence and fame, but also conflict, money loss, and a lot of changes, such as house moving or traveling. And the last one is 4-1 combination, and this usually indicates intelligence and fame. So we can use fire elements to reduce star three and star four. For example, we can add candles, lamps, red and orange color or purple color. It can be a pillow, an area rug, or anything inside the space. And uh, we can also enhance intelligence here with Wenchang Pagoda or the Chinese ink brushes. The number four direction is uh, north, and we have the monthly star number seven. The seven and eight combination, it's a uh, earth star number eight generates metal star number seven. And this indicates harmony, romance, luck, wealth, and uh, fame. And the uh, second combination five and seven indicates quarrel, gossip, legal issues, and uh, health problems. The third combination, eight and five, indicates wealth, fame, but tendency for obstacles, accident, and illness. So the monthly star seven here can bring quarrels and gossip, and we can add a water element to reduce number seven, the metal star, and indirectly will reduce the earth star number five and number eight. So we can add black and blue pillows, blue or black area rocks, black crystals, and the salt water cure. And for the health enhancers, we can add the hulu gourd or turtle. The number five direction is northeast. We have number five as the monthly star. 
And we know the five yellow star is typically negative and uh, troublesome. The first combination, six and five, it can mean money loss, even though you have good income. And it can also be related to health issues and obstacles. And the second combination, five and three, that's the wood star number three controls earth star number five. And this indicates robbery, accident, and illness. And the third combination, six and three, is the metal controlling the wood. And this can cause conflict, legal issues, or injury. So all three combinations are more on the negative side. And they are all not tiny stars in period nine. So this month, the northeast is not an auspicious direction. And uh, we can add metal element to reduce star five and indirectly control the star three. So just like before, we can add any metal objects. And we can also add salt water cure, obsidian crystal, or hulu gourd to absorb negative energy. And try to avoid construction in the northeast this month. The next direction is east. We have star number nine as a monthly star. The first combination one and nine, both are very tiny stars. So this is a very auspicious combination. It indicates wealth and happy events. The next combination is nine and seven. That's a fire star nine controls metal star seven. And this can bring fire related illness. For example, the problems related to head, blood, and heart. And the third combination, one and seven, it indicates a tendency for relationship trouble. Here in the east, we have both one and nine stars that are very tiny and auspicious. So we have more positive than the negative. So we don't have to worry too much about the negative here. For the feng shui cure, we can add a water element here to reduce star seven. So we can use the color, either black or blue, in pillow or area rock, carpet, or we can add water plants. So you have some actual water in the space. Next one is southeast. We have star number one. And the number one is also very auspicious in period nine. The first combination is two and one. The earth star number two controls the water star number one. And this can mean health issues. And it can mean females overpowering males or other imbalanced relationship issues. And the second combination is one and eight. It means intelligence, fame, and wealth. Even though star A is not tiny in period nine, it's still positive. And since number one is very tiny, it can reduce any negatives. And the third combination is two and eight. This indicates business and financial luck, but possible weak health because of the number two star. And this can also mean female overpowering, just like the 2-1 combination. There will be imbalanced relationships. And the star we want to reduce is number two, Earth star. So we can add metal elements to reduce the number two star. And it can also balance between star eight and star one. So just like before, we can use any metal objects, metal bells, coins, singing bowl, and so on. And we can add health enhancers such as a hulu gourd or a turtle, or use jade to increase protection. The next direction is south. We have the monthly star number six. The six and seven combination is a classic sword fight combination. That means there's a lot of fighting, gossip, conflict, injury, and legal issues. And the second combination is six and four. 
The metal star six controls the wood star number four. This combination can mean depression or other mental issues. And the third combination, seven and four, indicates disputes, quarrels regarding work or relationships. And it tends to affect the oldest daughter because of the number four star. The metal controls the wood, so the number four wood star is being affected the most. Seven and six can also bring power and the status, so they are not totally negative. But since they are not tiny in period nine right now, the negative side can show more. So we can add a water element to reduce metal. That's uh, both seven and six stars. And it can also balance between the number four and the six, seven stars. So you can use black or blue color, salt water cure, black obsidian crystal, black pillow, and the happy Buddha to increase harmony and reduce the fighting energy. The last direction, we have southwest, star number eight. The first combination, nine and eight. The number nine is the best star in period nine. And the number eight, we just passed the period eight, but it's still basically a positive star. So this combination can indicate wealth, fame, of spring luck, and happy events. And the second combination, eight and six, even though they are not tiny star right now, they are basically lucky star. It's an eight white star and a six white star. And this combination can indicate wealth, fame, promotion, and a career luck. The third combination is nine and six. It indicates business luck, fame, a possible rebellious kid or rebellious employees or workers. Since number nine is very lucky, it can balance out other negative energy. So this month, the Southwest is still the best sector. And this is the best place to set up any money enhancers, such as crystals, coin bank, money told, money guard, any of the five elements will be lucky here. But if you want to reduce any possible conflict between the number nine and six, maybe a rebellious kid or workers, you can add earth element to balance the nine and six stars. And you can add any earth tone color, yellow, brown, maybe a rock, a pillow, or pottery or ceramics. And it's a good idea to spend more time in the Southwest in May 2024. So that's all nine sectors for May 2024. And you probably can see from the past few months, in period nine, it looks like we have more power struggle and the relationship issues whether it's between an older and younger woman, between male and female, or the parents and children, or with employees, it seems more challenging than in period eight. And that's probably the lessons we all have to learn in period nine. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.